Today, I'm going to show you how to make LA Kalbi. This is one of the most popular beef Korean barbecues, and it is super easy to make. And today, I'm going to share four tips in making this delicious LA Kalbi into restaurant style LA Kalbi. You could enjoy this in a simple way with just rice and kimchi or with lettuce wrap called sam. And I'm also going to show you how to cook these in the oven and also on a hot grill. Bon appetit, everyone! Mm. Hi, everyone, this is Helen, and welcome to Modern Pepper. 안녕하세요, Modern Pepper, Helen입니다. For those of you that are new to Modern Pepper channel, Modern Pepper channel offers instructional Korean cooking lessons for authentic Korean recipes as well as Korean fusion recipes. So please do consider subscribing. 맛있는 한식 요리와 한식 퓨전 요리를 여러분들과 영어로 함께 하겠습니다. 구독 버튼 꼭 눌러주세요. Today I'm going to share a few tips with you on how to make really, really yummy LA Kalbi at home. So tip number one, the less blood you have in your marinade means it will be tastier. So it's just simple as that. So do not skip this part of draining the blood out of your meat. Okay, so now we're going to make our marinade. Our liquid in here. Mix it up and taste it. Mm. For me, this is like the perfect amount of saltiness and sweetness and kalbi is not meant to be sweet. It's not supposed to be anything like beef teriyaki. The sweetness should be a subtle background taste. In all fairness to people that love sweetness, make it sweet if you want. I mean, there's no wrong and right here. I want to quickly go over three ingredients that we use today for the marinade. You can use all purpose soy sauce. It's not going to make or break your marinade. But if you could get the Korean jin ganjang, and jin ganjang is a bit more richer in taste. It's a bit stronger brew. It's slightly saltier. If you could get that, that's great. But if you can't, no worries. I also use meju chung. It's basically a sweetener made out of plum extract. You could just pour it to hot tea and make tea out of it. You could use it as a substitute for sugar. I certainly use this when I make kimchi. But if you can't get it, just use honey, which will work fine too. Now, we also use tenjang, which is fermented soybean paste. 
This is one of the most important ingredients in Korean cooking. If you're gonna cook Korean food a lot, I suggest getting one of these and keep it in the refrigerator and it'll last a long time and you'll be able to use it for so many dishes. So doenjang, I like to add it to my marinades because it is really great at masking the smell of gaminess. Um, I don't know why I'm gulping. I don't know why I'm gulping. This marinade tastes so good in my mouth right now. <laughs> Simple as that. Tip number two is you need to let this rest in your refrigerator at a minimum of 24 hours or preferably 48 hours. You're asking, what is LA Kalbi? Why is it called LA Kalbi? So it's basically three ribs that have been cut through a, a machine together as opposed to just single stack of ribs that's used for restaurant style kalbi, we call it wangalbi. The legend goes that the very first time this style of kalbi was introduced at a Korean restaurant based in Los Angeles, California. If you are interested in learning how to make wangalbi, king kalbi that's rolled out into this long beautiful shape, make sure to check out my video which is linked over here and also in the description box. Ta-da! I have another one that I made two days ago that I want to show you. Two days later, your beef will look brown and dark like this, but that doesn't mean that it's gone bad or anything. It just means that the soy sauce has penetrated into the muscle of the beef, so it's going to be super yum. So this guy, we just poured the marinade, so you can still see how the flesh is still very bright red. So here is my restaurant hack that I'm going to share with you. So this is not an official statement that I'm making, but chances are if you're eating Korean barbecue at a restaurant, they are all using some sort of flavor enhancer, whether it's MSG or something else. And what I use is beef tashida, that is sogogi tashida, which is basically beef bouillon powder. It is a flavor enhancer that is used for soups, stews, I mean, you name it. It's a staple ingredient in my cabinet, as well as a lot of Korean households. Some are very secretive about it, like, oh no, I don't use it, but you know, whatever, whatever. <laughs> so this is an option, you do not have to use it, but if you want to mimic the taste of how it tastes at restaurants, sprinkle just a tiny bit on your kalbi, like so, and let it hang out for 10 minutes before you add it to the grill. So that's tip number three. Restaurant style, use this. Or some people use MSG, up to you. And I know, what do you do with all this extra marinade? Instead of throwing it away, I would dunk some chicken in here and let it marinate for 24 hours and you could have chicken marinated kalbi. Here's tip number four. Cook your kalbi on very, very, very high heat. So option one would be to cook it in the oven, set it to broil, make sure your oven shelf is set to the highest and grill it on both sides until it has that milky chocolate brown seared mark on both sides. Now my favorite way to cook LA kalbi is on a hot, outdoor grill. So let's go outside. You're asking, what is this called? This is called a loop lighter. It's basically a heater that blasts out so much heat from the tip and it will ignite your charcoal in minutes. If you're interested in learning more about this loop lighter, I did a video on this, so make sure to check it out. Here we go to our grill. So if your grill doesn't make this sizzling sound, that means it wasn't hot enough.
This is called LA Calbi Facial. Smell of LA Calbi. Mmm. It's a new trend. It's a new facial. <laughs> Ta da! It's time to eat, right? Are you excited? Yeah. We have a special guest. His name is James, my special mukbang guest. He's very good at what he does, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> When it comes to LA Kalbi, it's always good to get a pair of scissors and just cut it like so. Here you go. It's a little hot. So when you eat LA Kalbi, it's okay to use your hands. I mean, the Wang Kalbi, the King Kalbi, and Chumulok, those you don't use your hands, but with these, you guys can. Cheers! <laughs> Mm. Mm. What do you think? Mm. Mm. So in my household, four pounds of LA Kaibi will disappear in like that in five minutes. I have to tell my husband, like, if you're not on it, you're never going to get a lick of this. Mm. 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 That extra beef tash that we added, mucho bueno, very, very good. So when it comes to LA Kaibi, a lot of people don't eat the membrane and the meat around it but you see james is demonstrating that's how you eat it you have to eat the membrane because that's what makes la kalbi so delicious the membrane is so chewy let me just unroll it for you so you can see and then you eat it see james just did it so you end up with just a plate of all these little tiny ribs When you have LA Kalbi, sometimes you just want to keep it simple. Rice and kimchi and LA Kalbi is sometimes all you need, like that. Mm. Ready? Mm-hmm. Here we go. Mm. Ah. So in Korean, we say ah when you feed your baby. Ah. Mm -hmm. How is it? Mm. Right? So the combination of rice, LA Kalbi, and kimchi, so good, so good. Now. We're also going to go fancy, right? Mm -hmm. So you could have a platter of any lettuce of your choice. You, and you could layer multiple layers on it or just single layer, but I'm going to make you one sum. So when you make Korean lettuce wrap called sum, the key is to make it small so it fits into your mouth once, right? So kogi rice, samjang, and pamuchim. And then we just fold it over. Wrap it tight so it goes into your mouth at once. Ah. Uh. Mm. I'm going to make myself one and wrap it up. I mean, when you have Korean barbecue, I mean, seriously, like lettuce wrap is a must. Bon appetit, everyone. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm. And samjang is basically this. It's a condiment that comes in this green container. It's basically a combination of gochujang and doenjang. And if you want to learn how to make that, make sure to check my video that you see right here. And also pamuchim is a side vegetable fixing that's always included when you make lettuce wraps. So you could also check out that video if you want to see how that's made, but I'll also include it on the recipe blog um, below. Look at you go. So the inside is just filled with so much yummy goodness, rice, kogi, which means meat, and samjang, and just the tangy taste of the scallion salad. Pamuchim, that's what it is. Oh, so good, right? And because it's Friday, a little soju, Ah, chani nomchimida, Yorobun. I just uh, poured myself a very generous uh, shot. It's. <sighs> oh. Happy Friday, everyone. Even if it's not Friday, happy Friday. Ooh. Ah, cham hengbokamida, Yorobun. Oh, I feel so good. Mm. Yum. So I want to thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed watching today's video, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it if you would click on that thumbs up icon. Thank you very much. 여러분 오늘 재밌게 보셨으면 꼭 좋아하는 버튼 눌러주세요. 감사합니다. Make sure to check out these other videos that you see right here and I will see you in the next video.
Um, can you eat some rice with this? I mean, this isn't a uh, pizza here, darling. No? And can you guys save some for dad? I mean, look at this. This is four pounds of carbine and it's all gone. Slow down, guys. 